parents and kids. Shannon here from my code school and I wanted to show you how to connect your Code Kingdoms account with your Minecraft account. So we're earlier off, um, or I've sent you through a video, you've well, perhaps watched a video that shows you how to log your kids in the Code Kingdom. This is gonna show you how to connect their Code Kingdom account to their Minecraft uh, as well so they can see the code running in Minecraft. So let's say you've logged in to Code Kingdom where child's logged in, in here. They've chosen a Minecraft game that they wanna code. So they open it up here. They'll also need to have loaded up their Minecraft. So they only need to open up Minecraft Java on their computer as well. So let's say they've logged in here. They've opened up a one of their projects that they're working on. And the code's come up here in a moment. The code's come up. Now, in order to uh, connect with their Minecraft, they're going to have to go over here and click on server. Oh, let me get out of the right there. Go over here and click on server. So they'll click on server, and in here you'll see their server address. Now they need to copy this and add it to their server in Minecraft. Okay, but before we do that, we might just look at our Minecraft first, because we're gonna add some permissions here to make sure that they're talking to each other in a nice, friendly way, and then we don't run into any glitches. So if we click on our Minecraft, or open up our Minecraft here, you'll see at the top here, it's like your Minecraft sort of username or I don't know what you call it, but mine's iCode 7. So you need to know what that is for your child's Minecraft version. So it needs to be Minecraft, uh, sorry, needs to, you need to get that username. So mine's iCode 7. And then you go back into your Code Kingdoms, into your permissions. So to get that, I go to my server, and then I click on, oh, so server, permissions. And I need to add it here to, I need to, your Minecraft username. So I'm gonna go iCode 7 type that in, and then I'm gonna save it. And then down here on my whitelist, down here, I'm also gonna add iCode 7 as well. I'm gonna add that. And now I've added that to there. I go to my server address, I copy it, click on the copy button. Then I go to my Minecraft, I open up my Minecraft, and I click, uh, actually before we click play, the other thing we need to do is we need to make sure we're on the right version of Minecraft. So you see down here, we've got our versions down here, versions. We need to be on version 1.15.2. So if you've just installed a new version of Minecraft, you might have the a new version up there. So to make a, the correct version, we go up here to installations, click on installations, click new. And for us, we might give it a name. We might call it 1.15. Dot two, that's the version that we need. You might call it iCode, maybe you call it iCode. iCode 1.15.2. Then you'll need to click here where it says version. You'll click on that, choose the 1.15.2 release, and then you just click on create, uh, which is good. And if you go out to play, you can adjust your version here. There's my iCode. Oh, I've got 1.5.1, haven't I? Sorry, but it needs to be two. So click on that one, and then you can click play. And then it'll load up. And when that loads up, then we're gonna take our server address from Code Kingdoms, and we're gonna put it into, add it as a server in our Minecraft Java edition. So this won't take just a couple of minutes to log up, log in, and then we'll add it in, and we're ready to go. Okay, so it looks like it's Opening up, might be a second. So make sure we copy this so it's in our server address. We're gonna copy it, you need to click the copy button or you can uh, click and highlight it and copy it. All right, so now our Minecraft's opened up down here. I mean, it says Java. I'm just gonna pop it in here. It won't take a second. Maybe a few. And then once we've added our server, we can then start to test uh, test our code, make sure it's pulling through. So still opening up Minecraft here, great. And then we click on multiplayer mode here. So click on multiplayer mode. There. And down here, we click add server. And in our server address, we click there. And we um, paste it. There, and then we click done. 
So to paste, you might you might need to use like Windows V, the Windows symbol on your keyboard, and V or um, Command V, depending on what computer you've got. Click OK. And if we scroll this bar down here, we should see iCodes, Code Kingdoms, so whatever your name is. Oh, hope that didn't quit. We double click on our server that we've just put in. And all going well. Well, our Minecraft will load and we'll be good to go. Here we go. So it's loaded our Minecraft world and then we can test our code. So that's how we uh, connect and make sure our Minecraft server and our code kingdoms are working together. I hope that's been of some help and makes uh, everything a little bit easier for you, especially if you're working remotely or at home. Okay, thanks guys, bye.